Good morning, church. I am so excited for our We Love Our Neighbor Week. We Love Our Neighbor Week is all about showing acts of kindness to our community to build gospel bridges. We know that our community has a need for the gospel of Jesus Christ. The problem is people today can be hardened to the gospel. They can be cynical even. I would say the majority of people fall into the category, we don't care what you know until we know that you care. Maybe you have a neighbor, maybe you have a coworker, and maybe you've tried to give them the gospel before, but they don't seem interested in hearing it. Let me challenge you, buy them a cup of coffee. Be there for them when they're going through their family crisis. Hear their problems. Why? You have the solution. You and I have the solution to what this whole world needs. This world needs to be radically changed by the living gospel of Jesus Christ. This world is so without hope and so without joy and so without love that maybe, just maybe, buying them that cup of coffee will then lead to another conversation and another. And when they're going through a difficult time in their life, they might just come to you knowing that you are a Christian because all this time you've been gracious and kind. You've showed them love. You've had joy. You've had peace. You've had long suffering, goodness, even gentleness. You've been temperate, meek, and you've had faith. And they see that fruit and they know something's different about you. I'm not suggesting that we don't open our mouths with the gospel, we do. This is the first brick in that bridge for a gospel conversation. You say, what does this look like practically? The first step is to choose someone, anyone. It could be a neighbor, it could be the police officers down the street. It could be literally anyone in your community that God has placed you around for a purpose. Number two, you wanna do something kind for that person. So maybe you're in line at a drive-thru. You see that the person behind you, they've got a minivan full of kids. You decide to pay for their order and you let the cashier know I wanna pay for the person behind me. And when they come up to the window, would you just do one thing for me? Would you hand them this card? And you hand that to the cashier. The cashier gives this card to the person behind you and says, the person in front of you paid for your meal and they wanted me to give you this. And they look on the back here and they scan a QR code that leads to a gospel presentation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include a list of opportunities for you to love your neighbors, just ideas or thoughts. Take all of them, take none of them. I don't care as long as you love your neighbor. You have from the 11th to the 18th to grab cards and go out into our community and share the love of Jesus Christ with them. And we'll come together on the 25th and celebrate those as victories in the first step to gospel relationships. Now go forward and let your light so shine among men and hopefully the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ will shine through the blinded eyes of this world and someone will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ.